Thank you so much for hopping on our Sales Rabbit webinar today. I know we have a lot of people that have already joined and have been on the webinar waiting patiently for us to get started. And I know that there are several people that are still hopping on and joining the webinar. And so we want to give everyone just a minute to get settled in before we dive into all the content that we have for you today. By way of introduction, I am Sean Huckstep. I'm the VP of Sales here at Sales Rabbit. And uh, the beautiful thing about where we sit within the market is that we see thousands and thousands of uh, field sales companies come and interact with us, engage with us. We get the opportunity to learn from all of these different companies and really help figure out what are best in class systems, processes, uh, workflows, automations, um, and even down to uh, recruiting and building and scaling a new sales team for those of you that are, are looking to do that. So we're really excited to share uh, what we have today for you on the webinar. Really, the overview of today is going to be really focused on the basics of Sales Rabbit. Uh, what sales rabbit is, how it works. Uh, this is really just kind of a, a rudimentary or foundational level knowledge of sales rabbit. And I want to welcome everyone out to today's webinar as we get started. Look forward to having all of you here. I know we are just about a, a minute into our start time. We want to make sure we give everyone ample time to get settled as, as we are ready to dive into our content. Um, this is a webinar that really is going over the basic or foundational level uh, information about Sales Rabbit, who we are, what we do. And the great thing about um, being here is that we get the opportunity at Sales Rabbit to see thousands and thousands of different field sales companies engage with us, interact with us, and we get insight that really helps us understand how to build a successful field sales team, what it takes, um, what are the best or, or uh, world-class processes, systems, automations, workflows, um, how do you build the right culture? How do you recruit? How do you retain? All of these things are, are knowledge that we've gained over the years as we've uh, not only built out the sales rabbit platform, but really partnered and worked with uh, some of the best field sales companies uh, around the globe. I will be your host today on the webinar. My name is Sean Huckstep. I'm the VP of sales here, as, as well as the, one of the co-founders of the company. Prior to starting Sales Rabbit, I actually did door-to-door -door sales for several years. I hired, recruited, and built and managed sales teams. And so this really is my passion. I'm excited to be with all of you today. I hope that you feel that level of excitement and the passion that we have here at Sales Rabbit for helping companies to really scale and grow and build a successful sales model that's repeatable and that's trainable uh, so that you can continue to grow and scale your business. Uh, Sales Rabbit started in 2013, and uh, we've worked with tens of thousands of different sales reps. Uh, we understand what people go through out in the field, and we want to give you a little insight into what we see, um, how our system works. Now, before we start diving into all the content that I have prepared for you today, I'm going to quickly launch a poll, and you should see this pop up on your screen. It's just some basic information, four questions. Uh, I just want to understand all the audience that's out there and joining our webinar today so that we can really make sure we tailor this webinar specifically to those of you that are on and joining us. Um, so I want to know, do you currently use Sales Rabbit? Yes or no? Uh, what industry are you in? Because we tailor um, our platform. It's very customizable for different industries. And uh, we want to make sure that we're able to uh, tailor this today to, to the majority of people that are on this webinar. Then we want to understand how big is your sales team today? We, we have a lot of different features. We have functionalities. There's a lot of, of value that's packed in the sales rabbit. And so we want to make sure that we can 
uh, really nail that for the different sizes of companies that are on here today. And then lastly, what is one of your main focuses that you came to webinar wanting to learn more about? Is that how SalesRabbit integrates? Is it how do I better manage territory or how do I make sure my reps are working all of their leads? Uh, all of this, is, it will help me tailor the, the webinar for today. Um, unfortunately, we have only 30 minutes to, together today, and, and we're going to try and go through a lot of content because I've seen these uh, polls being answered by a lot of you that are joining today. Um, want to thank all of you that are current customers of SalesRabbit hopping on and joining the webinar today. Thank you so much for partnering with us and, and allowing us to help you. We want to make sure we continue to deliver value for you, your company, and your team. And for all of you that aren't SalesRabbit customers, uh, welcome. Uh, happy to have you on here. And we look forward to showing you what SalesRabbit can do. Um, I already see there's several comments in the chat, which is fantastic. I want this webinar to be very interactive and uh, I want to be able to answer questions in real time as they come up. And there's two places that you can actually do that. One is in the chat bot or excuse me, in the chat functionality here in Zoom or in the Q&A section. Uh, pull either of those up. I have both of those pulled up on my end and I'll make sure to just watch that as we're going through in real time. Um, yes, this webinar is being recorded. Um, and uh, welcome. Um, we'll make sure that for all of you that want this as a recording for today's webinar, we'll make sure we send it out to you. So that way, if there's other people internally within your company or your team that you want to share this with, um, you have the ability to do it. All right. Thank you, everyone, for taking that poll. Um, it looks like there's there's kind of a split interest across uh, having a general overview of sales rabbit lead management territory management integration stats and leaderboards so want to make sure that we're trying to hit all aspects of the sales rabbit platform today um and i will go ahead and end this poll and we're going to dive into sales rabbit today um one of the things that I want to make sure that I highlight on um, before we get into the actual interface and the sales rap platform is a little bit of, of our methodology or the way that we think about how we build out a solution for sales reps. Really, everything that we look to build at sales rabbit, we we want to make sure we put ourselves in the shoes of everyone that's using it. And really, it comes down to uh, a couple of different use cases. One, it's the sales rep themselves who are out there in the field, the grinding, they're selling day in, day out and making things happen. Um, we focus on the sales rep and you'll notice that our user interface is very simple. It's very easy. It's built with the sales rep in mind. Um, and ultimately we know that if something's not easy for a rep to use out in the field, they're not going to use it. And so as a company or owner or manager, then if your reps aren't using the tools that you're giving to them, you're not getting the data and the information back to actually make uh, important data-driven decisions within the org that will help, help move the needle in the outcomes or revenue or whatever success metric that you're chasing after. Uh, we always want to build a great culture. We want to provide uh, motivation, insight into what reps is doing um, because we know a lot of companies out there will build out or um, run competitions or incentives to help increase production and and motivate their reps to get out there and do what they need to be. And then obviously we want to help reps master what they're doing. Um, we want to help them in their closing abilities, give them the tools and necessary, uh, necessary things to be able to move a prospect or potential customer from lead all the way through to close. And we want to simplify that as much as possible. The reason being um, partly because we focus on the sales reps experience so much and we're big believers in this and simply because so many companies out there always focus on the customer's experience. What is the customer experience? How can we make it easier for them? How can we support our customers better? And the way I view it and see it is that, well, um, your reps experience 
actually precedes the customer's experience. And we understand through a lot of different research that 53% of the reason why people purchase your product is because they have a good sales experience. It's not as much about the products, all the features, the pricing, although that's important, we know based on research that 53% of the reason why people purchase is based on the rep experience. What is your, what is your sales rep creating while they're out there talking to your potential customers? How easy is it for them to move from A to B all the way through to Z to close the customer? And so we want to make sure we're focused on that rep experience because it precedes the customer experience and ultimately it gives um, better, higher closing um, ratios for your reps. Now, the other half to that is the organizational success. We want to make sure that um, we're giving the business insights into what's happening out in the field. Sometimes there's a huge gap that owners, managers of teams or companies, um, they send their reps out in the field and then they sit back and they're like, well, did the reps actually follow up on this lead? Did they actually try and talk to them? Did they go and try and visit them uh, at least four times before giving up on the lead? Um, we don't know because we don't have the systems or the processes to be able to track all that information. And those are the things that we need to change so that we can really monitor the right things so that we can drive the right behaviors and get the outcomes that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over and share my iPad with you. I have that pulled up here on my screen. And, um, and I'm going to walk you through some of the processes that we have in Sales Rabbit to really make things easier for the rep out in the field, but also to manage your team better. And feel free that as we're going through this, uh, post any of your questions that you have in the chat section or in the Q&A section. We'll make sure we answer everything in real time. As I'm on my iPad, you notice that I can just download the sales rabbit app from the app store. I can open it up, log in, and I see this home screen. This gives me basic stats and understanding of, of my production um, over the last 30 days in comparison to the 30 days prior to that. So I can see if I'm trending up, trending down in um, leads generated, created, people talked to, et cetera. Majority of what happens uh, within Sales Rabbit happens in this Sales Hub or on the map view. We try and make things as visual as possible so that people can actually uh, identify who they've talked to, who they need to follow up with, what areas they should be working, what areas are the most productive. Uh, we want to visualize as much data and information as possible uh, because it makes it easier to see that. Um, question, are those stats fixed or can you create stats based on different lead tags? So uh, we'll get more into leaderboards and reporting here more towards the end of the demo. This home screen is fixed, but we have another section of all of our reports that are fully customizable so you can create whatever stats that you want within our platform. Um, when will we be able to see lead flags on the web version of the map? Great question. Uh, it's being built out currently right now. And so uh, we should be seeing that relatively soon. Um, appreciate that question. And uh, we're working hard on that. So when I come in the mobile app, uh, you can see this blue dot in center of my screen. This is my current location. That will actually follow me around as I'm out there in the field. Now, one of the things that we want to do is we want to try and create insight. Uh, we want to deliver information on where you should be going and knocking. Or if you're looking to scale or grow your business, what areas should you be growing or scaling into? Should we go into this city versus this city or move into this state or that state? All of this is, is information that we're trying to give to you so that you can better direct your team and put them in the situations or scenarios that or areas that have the best likelihood to close. So you can see we're actually ranking every single state on a scale of one to 10 on how likely they are to purchase your product. The reason or, their, or the ability that we have uh, in order for us to be able to do this is that we can take your customer database, load it into SalesRabbit, and then we can start to cross match that with our database to identify certain attributes or characteristics that tell us how um, um, 
well, tell us attributes or characteristics about those people that have already purchased your product. And then we compare that to attributes of those people that haven't purchased so that we're creating audiences that look like your, your current customer base. Now, as I start to zoom in, you'll see we break those airs down from states uh, to county records all the way down into census blocks. You can even click on one of those territories. It tells you how many homes are within that tells you average income, credit score, um, owner versus renter percentage. So if we want to make sure we're hitting areas that have a high percentage of home ownership and they live there, then we want to make sure that we, we can do that. And we have this ability through our product called Data Grid AI. Now, the nice thing about it is when I've identified an area that I actually want to send reps to, um, I can turn on my area filter here on the map. And you can see I already have these areas that are built out. I'm gonna turn off my data grid AI. And now it's gonna show me all these different territories that reps are currently assigned to. Uh, it makes it again, very easily as we uh, differentiate different reps through different colors, we can see who's in what territories. Um, we can click on an area, see how long they've been there, who's been there in the past so that we're not um, work in the same territories week after week after week, but we're cycling through territories. Ideally, you want to work a territory um, and then come back and circle back around to it about every six months so that we can continue to build our uh, uh, and saturate certain areas. Now, when I want to assign a territory to a specific rep, all I need to do is with my finger right there on the map, I can draw out a territory with my finger tap my finger in the middle of it, pull up a list of reps that I want to assign to that territory. And I'm just going to go ahead and sign myself to that territory and save it. Now, as soon as I drop that territory, I'm going to turn on my leads and information. You'll see those pop up on the map. Once I assign myself a territory, you'll notice that we have these uh, different pins that populate over every home in the area. Now, again, what we do is we go from ranking every uh, state census block um, all the way down to the individual household. And we can tell you how likely someone is to purchase your product based on other people that have purchased your product. Um, we call this a buyer score. We're, we're gathering a lot of different data and information and telling you this right off the bat. So if I click on this home that has a nine out of 10 ranking for how likely I are to buy, it's going to tell me the name of the people that live there. It'll tell me their age, how long they've lived there, how much money they make, estimated credit score, all of this if, different information that helps me to identify the houses that I should go to. And then also it gives me their name. So when I go and knock on that door, I can say, hey, are you Carol? Rather than, hey, are you the homeowner? And, and that change in your approach allows you to increase your contact rates and connect with people a lot faster and get into more homes than um, just asking if they're homeowners. This data grid AI product is used by about 80% of all of our customers. It's, it provides a huge value to know the name of the person before you even go and knock there, plus to know what the territories are that, that have the highest propensity to purchase your product. Um, another question that came in, can I use your software for business to business sales? Absolutely. We have a lot of B2B companies and we're actually growing really rapidly in uh, the B2B industry. What I'm showing you today is mainly residential, but a lot of the same concepts apply to business to business. Um, you know, we have this residential homeowner information that you see up on the screen. We can do a similar thing for business to business where um, we can actually uh, search for different businesses right here on the map, and it's going to pull all those businesses that fit your criteria, create a lead for it so you can start to work them. Um, but majority of what I'm going to spend my time on today is really focused on residential. Um, but if you're in B2B um, or um, or in another industry, um, we're happy to always do one-on-one -on -one demos with you after this webinar to dive deep into what your use case is and in the industry that you're in. So um, 
we've covered a little bit about territory management. We've covered data grid AI, how to understand what your market is, where you should be going. Now what we want to do is ultimately we want to start working these leads. It's really simple as I go house to house, I can easily mark what the outcome is of that home, who, um, what I need to do to follow up with them. If they're not interested, if I need to go back and call them, I can mark down all this. So again, visually you start to understand um, who you've talked to and who you still need to go and talk to within the area that you're working. Um, how do you explain to customers how you got their name? Uh, great question. So if this is me going out into the field and I'm selling and um, I go up to door and I say, hey, are you Karen? Because the app told me their, their name is Karen. They're like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm Karen. Wait, how'd you get my name? My response would be, oh, I've just been out here in the neighborhood. I've talked to a lot of your neighbors and I wanted to come over to your home and just make sure you didn't miss out on this opportunity. We're servicing all these homes for solar, roofing, telco, et cetera. And you kind of start to dive in your pitch. So I don't tell them um, that I'm actually, well, this app that I use pre-populated your, your information because it's public record that we're pulling from the title or county records, et cetera. Um, I'm just telling them that I've worked with a lot of the neighbors. And so the assumption is that, that the neighbors gave me that information. Um, and, and so I'm approaching the door in, in that fashion. And it makes it really, really easy. And again, increases your contact rates. Great question. So once I go and I talk to these people, um, you can see I can pull up this lead card. I have the ability to call, text, email, get turn by turn directions. I have this notes section where I can type in any notes about what I spoke to them about, or I can use the talk to text feature if I'm walking between doors or between businesses to be able to collect and gather information really quickly. And then uh, I can go into the lead detail. This is where I can gather a bunch of information. I can add business name. I can add a phone number if I don't already have it. We probably give you about 30% of uh, people's phone numbers right out of the gate. Um, so that if you wanna do uh, some, some cold calling or contacting people, we give that to you. Uh, you can also enter in uh, email address we can uh, build out custom fields. So if there's certain information or data that you want your team to gather, collect while they're out there in the field, you have uh, these, these spots you can collect it in. Now, the nice thing about it too, especially for those of you that are um, set up in a setter closer model, meaning that you have people that go out and generate leads for you and set appointments for then another person that comes out and close, we have a feature that we called scheduler where you can actually go and schedule appointments for yourself if you're the closer or for someone else. And when I click someone else, it's gonna load up the scheduling functionality where as a scheduler, it's gonna show me the open availability for the closer. Now, the great thing about this is there's a lot of logic that you can set up in the background, meaning I can um, set up where I'm going to create leads for all the closers based on a rank, meaning who, who do I, is my best closer to who is my worst closer. And I'm going to give all these sets to my best closer first, or I can schedule it and set up the logic where it's going to be, I want to schedule appointment for the, the closer that's closest in proximity to this lead, or I want to round robin it between all of my different closers. There's a lot of different ways that we can do this. Um, then, um, we also have files where if I need to take a picture of a bill, energy usage, damage on a roof, I can open up my mobile app. I can actually take a photo. I'm just going to take a photo outside our office here in Salt Lake city. I'm going to attach this file to the record and it's as easy as that. We also have the ability to uh, do forms. So if I actually want to create a process where I'm doing a digital contract and a signature, I can go in, I can gather all the information I need, and then I can pass all this information I've already collected over onto a digital contract. 
and I can collect signatures digitally while I'm out there in the field. And this makes it really nice and convenient to be able to go and do that uh, if you're not already doing digital contracts today. Uh, these digital contracts are completely customizable. You can take your own uh, contract agreement, upload it in our system, and build out that digital process. The nice thing about doing it this way is that we can then pass any and all of this information, including a PDF copy of the agreement, generally into your CRM. So it eliminates any type of duplicate data entry, and it just speeds up that process rather than your reps having to call into the office or when they get done selling at the end of the night, then they input all that information into your CRM. The idea is to, to create automation um, that eliminates errors and gets things done much more quickly and in real time. A um, couple of questions that came in. Are those cells or landlines numbers? A uh, majority of them are landline numbers. Great question. Um, can you put in a specific set of addresses for rep to visit rather than the entire neighborhood? Will it route them to those addresses? Uh, great question. So uh, I'm just going to answer that real quick. So if I was to uh, either upload a set of, of leads that I want a person to go to or if maybe we set up automation where you're getting leads from third party resources, we can actually um, automate lead creation within Sales Rabbit, assign it to your reps. Your reps would get a notification that a lead's been created for them, and then they can go to that. Um, the nice thing about routing leads is we make it really simple. All I need to do is right here with this little lasso tool, is what we call it, I can circle out these leads that I wanna route. It's going to show me, hey, there's 13 leads. I select this route button, create a new route. I enter in a starting address. I enter in an ending address. It shows me all of my different uh, waypoints or my stops. And then I can build out optimizations for that route down here at the bottom. Um, and then all I do is just select route it. It organizes it and optimizes that route. And then I can go and view that on the map so that it actually shows me in order which homes I need to stop at and what order to create the best path uh, moving forward. Um, great use case, especially for those that, that maybe just don't go door to door, but work um, different lead sources or maybe have reoccurring customers that they're going to on a consistent basis. Um, let's see, a few other questions that came in. Um, is data grid AI available for Android users? Um, we do have data grid AI available for Android users. Uh, the buyer score though, where we rank them from one to 10 isn't available on, on Android right now. It's being worked on and developed, um, but the pins and markers should be there for you. Uh, if we do cold call, are there any that will be on the do not call list? Uh, great question. We do scrub all of our phone numbers against the do not call list, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, if we use your electronic agreement features, this means that we do not need to have an additional have additionally a DocuSign account. Uh, correct, that is accurate. If you're currently using DocuSign or another um, uh, e-signing tool, uh, what I would recommend is that we always go through a process of looking at how you're using those other tools and make sure that our e-signing is going to fit all of your needs that you have. But generally speaking, we get a lot of people who are using DocuSign and then they drop DocuSign, use SalesRabbit's eSign because it's, it's integrated, um, it's out of box, and usually it's about two to three times less expensive for you. Um, but if for some reason you need to continue to use DocuSign, we do have the ability to integrate directly with DocuSign where I can um, take all the information from SalesRabbit. I can integrate DocuSign in such a way where I can uh, select that DocuSign and it's going to load that directly into SalesRabbit. And I can go through that DocuSign process um, within SalesRabbit as opposed to generally speaking, maybe using our um, tool as well. So this kind of gives you an idea of workflow for uh, DocuSign if you legally need to use DocuSign for some reason. Um, but again, we can vet that out. Um, what is the black and white pin as opposed to the numbers on each house? Um, let me, so uh, let me answer that question. So if I look at 
the numbers on each home, this tells me on a scale of one to 10, how likely these people are to purchase my product based on other people that have already purchased my product. Uh, whereas you see these other circle icons with, you know, an X or a, a phone icon in the middle of it. Those are people I've already talked to and they're in my sales funnel as leads that I'm gonna continue to work. Um, we have all of these different icons or pins that you can customize, set up to make sure we fit your workflow, whether that's they're not interested, don't knock on their home again, I need to call them back, I schedule an appointment, I sold them, um, you know, we're in the install process. Uh, whatever that is, we can build out your funnel workflow right here within Sales Rabbit. Um, great questions. I love all the questions. Want them to keep coming. Um, just so we know, any of you, as a time check, we're we're at one thirty Mountain Time, um, which is the time that we've set aside for the webinar. Because of the amount of questions, engagement, I have personally have a few extra minutes here that I want to spend on the webinar, just going through a few additional things. Um, so that way we can get through uh, kind of this introductory uh, to sales rabbit today. Now, for those of you that are on a bit more of a time crunch and you had a hard stop at the bottom of the hour, uh, two things that I would recommend from here. One is if you're not currently using sales rabbit, you can go to the app store. You can download sales rabbit completely for free. Now this free version is a very stripped down version. It's very basic excuse me, you can't customize anything in our free version, but you can go drop pins on the map, add in leads, edit information, and it gives you a feel of, of what Sales Rabbit is and what it does. For those of you that have a lot of questions or maybe want to see exactly how Sales Rabbit works specifically for your industry or how it integrates with other systems that are part of your tech stack, I would go to our website, salesrabbit.com, and, and in the lower right corner, you're going to see a chat bot. Um, you can talk with one of our product experts, or you can actually schedule a demo with one of our sales team members, and they can actually walk you through uh, Sales Rabbit start to finish. Usually those take about 30 to 45 minutes to do, and, and we can get uh, into more of a deep dive about how Sales Rabbit works specifically for you, for your business, for your industry, and with your tech stack. Um, with that, those two things said, um, I'm going to continue on for probably another 10 minutes and try and answer questions as they're coming in, as well as show you a little bit more about the Sales Rabbit platform. And then we'll go, go over a couple things uh, at the very end. Um, one, um, is there a desktop version to Sales Rabbit? Uh, yes, um, and I'm not going to get in that to that today just for time's sake, but we do have the ability to pull up Sales Rabbit on uh, the desktop. It is a web app. It's not a desktop app, just to clarify the difference between the two. Can I upload my current data of interested customers as use this to follow up? Absolutely. This, this uh, is a really common use case. We see uh, people who will upload a lot of customer data into the app and use this system to go and track uh, your engagement interaction with them as you're out there in the field, as well as we get a lot of, of companies that are using another tool um, that is similar to Sales Rabbit, they'll export all of their data out of that other tool, import it into Sales Rabbit, so that way you don't lose any of your data. Um, does it have a calendar so I know when to go back? Absolutely. Um, when you come here into Sales Rabbit, you can schedule this date and time. Um, anytime you schedule an appointment, it's gonna it can create an appointment on your calendar. So let's say you're using Google Calendar, it'll automatically sync that over to Google Calendar so you can see it there. Uh, it also give you in-app notifications and reminders about um, these upcoming appointments. And then right here within Sales Rabbit, you can actually go to appointment view and it'll show you a list of all your upcoming appointments right here in the app as well. Uh, does the free version allow us to track the houses we stopped at? and the response is received. Yes, it does. Um, our free version has about 10 different lead statuses. Those lead statuses are not customizable. They're just very generic. Um, and so a lot of people use our free version 
and and those 10 statuses work really well for them to track their sales funnel but again if you're wanting to set up more customization you're wanting to integrate sales rabbit or, or access our data grid ai that tells you how likely people are to purchase your product those are all on our paid version that you would need to upgrade to um, can we use sales rabbit more like a crm where we can send mass texts or emails um, right now, we have the ability to send individual texts or emails, um, but if you want to send out more tax, um, excuse me, um, uh, mass text messages or emails, here's a lot of times what we see people do is they will say, I want to send out a mass text message to all these people. We can highlight these. We can set up a process where I can circle off all these leads and then sales rabbit integrates with a lot of different platforms that does mass text, mass emails, um, you know, sending mailers to all of these people. And so we can set up workflows to integrate with one of those tools out there. Uh, there's also a lot of free versions that, that do this, that we see people use and integrate with sales rabbit. Again, to build some of those automated workflows, you need to be on our paid version. All right. Um, now, outside of, of, you know, mapping out leads, um, signing up customers, digital contracts, routing, I'm just going to highlight a couple of other things here with uh, about the remaining four minutes, and I'm going to breeze through this pretty quickly. One is we have the a tools section where you can upload any type of sales materials, content, video, pricing guides, product info, whatever you want, you can upload in the mobile app and your team has access to all of these different presentation materials and you can easily send all this material out digitally via email text to those customers so you don't have to carry on a binder clipboard while you're out there in the field um, we have the ability to uh, link sales rabbit to uh, different bi platforms if if you have a bi platform and you want to show a little bit more um you know robust data information we can do that as well um, we do have ability to do uh, team overviews uh, where we can look at how each team is performing all of these reports analytics stats are all customizable you can build out custom uh, custom stats like leads uh, created, doors knocked, people to talk to, appointment set, closing percentages, and you can see what that team is doing as a whole. Then you can break it down by individual users within that team. We also have a rep rankings and the standings. This is huge for those of you that run competitions and incentives where people can come in, look at reporting in real time out in the field to see how they're performing and where they're at in that competition. Uh, so reporting is, is very big for us. And we're also in the process of, of revamping and launching a whole new analytics platform within sales rabbit. So that's coming soon. We also have a chat feature, which allows you basically to communicate internally like uh, text messages, but it's within the sales rabbit app where we can start a chat with different team members, uh, send out a message to all the managers, the admins, to all the reps, to specific team, and it makes it really easy to uh, communicate internally. Um, now, outside of some of these additional features, one of the things that we have is what we call Sales Rabbit Learn. Sales Rabbit Learn is an LMS platform that's integrated into Sales Rabbit, where you can take any of your training content, you can upload it into Sales Rabbit, and you can start to prescribe or sign all of this training content to your team out in the field. So when you're hiring, onboarding, um, building out, scaling your team, they can come in Sales Rabbit Learn and get access to all the different videos, courses, content. Um, and, and training material that you have. And you can require this information for reps to take. You can just have a learning library that has all of your content in here that reps can go and subscribe to. And, and then you can create any content that you want, whether it's a course or quiz or checkpoints or surveys. There's so much that you can do within Sales Rabbit Learn. Um, but ultimately, all of this is trackable. So you can see who's actually completing all of their learning, um, who procrastinates it, 
uh, how long it takes them to get all their training done. And again, all of that's just integrated directly within Learn. Now, another a new thing that, that we launched, and this is, is kind of a new lead campaign or playbook that we see a lot of companies launching. Um, a lot of companies historically haven't used this, but I think it's an awesome resource to uh, increase your top of funnel and to get more leads to your team for them to follow up with and close. Um, this is a new product, uh, well, semi-new product for us. We call it our movers leads. Essentially what our movers leads are is that you can set up these mover feeds. So in, in areas or cities or zip codes where you're currently working, um, anytime someone moves, we can actually create a lead and let you know that this person either uh, that just moved in and we see a lot of people will then go and visit that person that just moved in their home because we know that people are likely to spend more money when they first move into home to set up new services uh, and do home improvements, et cetera. And so we see a lot of companies that are running these type of campaigns. It's just an additional lead source. And we're directly feeding these leads to your reps, to your team, to be able to go and, and have additional lead sources. And that's called our movers product. Um, now we've, uh, covered a lot of material in a short amount of time and, and fired a lot at you. Um, what I would recommend going from here, um, is, is a couple directions that I've already talked briefly about. One is again, if you are a current customer and you want additional training on SalesRabbit, please reach out to our support team. You can reach out to them via text, email. Um, there's an in-app chat uh, feature and they're fantastic at responding and they'll be able to help you to make sure you know how to use SalesRabbit. Uh, the second thing is if you're not a current customer and you wanna get a feel for SalesRabbit and how it works, I would recommend going and downloading our free version of our app on the App Store. Just go uh, search for SalesRabbit, uh, download it, create a login, and you can start using it for free. Uh, and you can use it for free as long as you want, um, but it's just a basic version of SalesRabbit. Uh, if you are um, have roughly three or more reps, that's generally um, when people start to uh, move away from our free version and go to our paid version, because that's where you get a lot of team analytics. Um, you can collaborate within the app and see where uh, people are working, what leads they've created. That's where you can go and set up all the automations. Um, and, and we integrate with your tech stack to create more workflows and automated processes. Um, if you're wanting to learn more about the integration SalesRabbit does or, or take a deep dive into SalesRabbit as it is specific to your company, your industry, I would highly recommend going to our website, salesrabbit.com and start a chat with one of our team members and schedule a demo. It will be similar to this other than it's going to be with one of our team members and they're going to um, go through and, and ask you a few questions like what industry are you in? What are what other software systems are you using? Uh, how many reps do you have? What are some of the workflows or processes that you want to build out that's kind of a pain point for you and your business right now? And they'll be able to walk you through and show you how we would solve all of that and how SalesRabbit specifically would work for you and your company. Um, that is, is a great way to get all of your questions answers to see SalesRabbit more in depth, uh, because this is meant to be a basic uh, introduction and overview of what SalesRabbit uh, can be for you and your company. Um, with all that said, I will stay online for another minute. If there's any additional questions that any of you have, please post them in the Q&A box or in the chat box. And I'll make sure I stay online for a couple more minutes to answer any additional questions that you may have. One question that came in, where do you go to find homeowners who just moved into their home? Um, so what we do is we actually don't necessarily go into the app 
and like in this neighborhood where um you know you can see who lives here now one of the things that you can do is you can come into data grid and you can look at length of residency and say i want to see um, everyone that's been in their house for under a year you can filter that out and now if if you want to create an audience of people that have only lived in their area for less than a year you can easily do that and say, I want to go and stop by all of these people's homes. I want to visit them because I think they're going to have a higher likelihood to purchase our product as a new homeowner. Now, if you want, um, you know, in real time, as soon as someone moves into home and they close on their house and you want to be notified of that, that's where our movers product comes into play where we're actually going to create a lead in sales rabbit we're going to give you a notification and saying hey these five people just closed on their home today or yesterday um, or one month ago um, you can set up that cadence on how frequently you want to receive those mover feeds but uh, ultimately, we're just sending you those leads. We're creating them in Sales Rabbit. We're giving you notifications so that you can go and visit them before uh, someone else comes to their home and sells them on it. So there's a couple of different ways for us to get that information. Um, we made a note. Uh, it looks like Jerry and Ellen, I'm happy to uh, send you a recording of this afterwards. Um, and I'll make sure I make note of that real quick so that we can send you this recording as soon as it becomes available. Um, Terry, uh, thanks for, for sending out. If you want to just post your, uh, send me a direct message and, and or post your email in the chat, we'll make sure we get this to you as well. Um, can you go over how to route leads again? Absolutely. So um, I have, uh, let me just turn off some of my filters here so I can focus on, on more of just my leads. I'm going to turn off these areas. So I'm just looking at all of the leads I've created on the map. If I want to create a route, there's this uh, finger icon in the top left corner. I can select that. It's going to allow me with my finger right there on the map to circle out leads uh, that I want to create a route for. Then at the bottom, you have all these different actions. I want to create an area out of this. I want to reassign uh, lead ownership for all these leads to someone else. I want to mass update these or delete them, or I can create a route. I would select a route and I can create a new route, add it to an existing route, and then it's going to pull that up. I can create a starting address and I can either use my current location or I can go in and type out what my starting address would be. And then I can also have my ending address. Um, and then it shows me all these different stops I need to make. You can optimize this route down here at the very bottom. And then I just click route it and it puts them all in an optimized order for me. And then in the top right corner, there's this little map icon. When I select that map icon, it's going to then show me all these leads on the map and put them in the right order of who I need to go to to create the most route possible. Um, so again, if uh, hopefully that was helpful, gave you insight. If you need more in-depth training, again, um, call, uh, text, or email our support team, and I will give you our support team's phone number through this chat uh, if you want to uh, call and ask them if your current customer needs some additional training or help. Any other questions um, that anyone has? All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining our webinar today. Look forward to talking with all of you more. Uh, for all those of you that wanted this recording, we'll make sure to make note of that and we'll get this sent out to all of you so that you have that available and can share that. Again, if you want a more in-depth, one-on-one, um, you know, walk through of sales rabbit, uh, feel free to schedule a demo with one of our team members and you can get multiple people from your company to join that demo and walk through. We'll make sure we help you out as best we can to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you again for joining our webinar today and look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a great day.